The water is not very supportive of life. It's, it's full of sulfur, it's full of uh, acid as well. Um, and uh, the, main, the main thing that makes it extremely harsh is the level of oxygen in it. It's pretty much zero. Not many organisms can survive that. Uh, but what was amazing is that once you step into the cave, you will immediately see little clusters of worms down on the, on the ground. Uh, now what you're seeing here is, is kind of like the entrance of the cave and you can see a stream of water kind of flowing downwards. As soon as you step in, you will make contact with the water, at least your, uh, our, our shoes will. Um, and we will precariously make our way down to the cave. And it's, uh, it, it's uh, a little bit tight of a space there. Over here is a very small space that can fit our head. So he has to crouch down, kind of lay down there, and slowly make his way downwards to the opening of the cave. You forget how much space the tank really takes up, so it was a bit tough trying to move around just because it's such a small space. I kept bumping into the ceiling, into the walls, all that. So what you can see down here are red specks, which, which are the clusters of worms. Uh, they're called Limnodrilla sulfurensis and they're all around the, the, the floor of the cave and they're hiding in the crevices and, uh, and some of them are just on top of this uh, what looks like silt um, and they're eating these stuff as well because they are covered in bacteria. An awesome experience. Um, I'm a little claustrophobic so there were a few times where it was a little bit, a little bit scary but for the most part it was, it was awesome. I loved it.